Sarah the CPAP lady here with another offering from React Health. This is their standard nasal mask. So it just goes around your nose for you, those of you who think that a nasal pillows mask is a little invasive. Let's check it out. Looks like our trunk is separate from our nose piece and mask as it comes out of the package and our headgear is bound up by this little plastic tie. So let's get a little plastic off of there. So right away I noticed that the ends of these tubes are not the same. They don't even look the same inside. This one's got kind of a divot coming out of it right there that you can see. And I do see that kind of a spot here. I don't know if that's related. Let's check it out. Nope. <laughs> Let's go to the other side. Ah, it's the squishy side. Okay, so the collapsible squishy side, that is the side that goes on this little mask. And then this must be the disconnect. Mm, the one that doesn't disconnect, but it swivels. You put that on your tube. Okay, these are very similar in size. It's not normal for me to be confused by which one's which. So definitely go off that squishiness. Okay, this is a hook, which is kind of nice. It's getting harder and harder to find a, a non-magnetic mask. Okay, we got a nice squishy nose piece. This accordion thing looks familiar. That's nice. It takes the pressure off the bridge of the nose if they can like kind of baffle it right there. I've got four Velcro. Didn't immediately fall off, which I like. Tighten these straps down. Okay, let's see what we think. That's awful close to my eye. Let's see. Mm -hmm. There's no way about it. That's just where it comes down at on me. Hmm. Most straps run right through there. This is barely touching, so I would not get a mark. It would have to come way back here before it is even making contact. Push forward while holding the mask still to get the clip off. Okay, your nasal cushion this piece right here, the size is down at the bottom. This one's a medium and they have different sizes in the box so you can choose what fits you best. This nose piece pops off of the frame. You just hold on to the gray part and pull at the clear piece. It comes off of there. And one thing I noticed when you snap it back on, listen, ah, nice satisfying snap. Almost none of the masks on the market snap when you put them together. But that one, you know it is together. You can wash this every single day to keep the oil and other unwelcome things off of your nose piece. And then every couple of weeks, as it gets stiff and doesn't seal as well and you notice that you need to tighten your straps, you're gonna throw it away and put on a new one in your favorite size. So you can wash these with warm soapy water and leave them to dry and alternate throughout the night's different ones. You can use the same one over and over again two or three weeks and throw it away when it starts getting stiffer and not sealing as nice and you notice that you need to start tightening your straps. The mask itself, you're gonna wash the trunk of your mask and your headgear every week with warm soapy water. The mask should last you three months or more and you can get new headgear every six months. You just take them on and off with Velcro. You can drop your headgear into your pillowcase and wash it with the rest of your linens or you can wash the whole thing together with warm soapy water and just hang it to dry. That's the way I prefer because if you don't take it apart, you don't have to put it back together and you can't really mess it up. So there we have it, the siesta.